Welcome to Lavanya's computer classes. In this video, we will explain long answer questions COA, Computer Organization and Architecture, that is JNT HCSE 21, second year, first semester, unit wise long answer questions. First question is design a 4 bit adder subtractor. Second one is design a 4 bit arithmetic circuit to perform addition and subtraction using uh, full address and also explain 4 bit combinational circuit decrement. Next one is draw the bus system for 4 registers and explain important question. Next one is explain about arithmetic shift micro operations very very important question. And next one is write about instruction codes that is direct and indirect address instructions important question. And next one is discuss the functional unit of digital computer. Next, derive the control gates, what is control gate, how to derive the control gates and compare and contrast computer organization and computer architecture. These are the important questions in unit 1. Then unit 2 is comparison between hardwired and microprogrammed control. Second one is explain about stack organization in detail. Draw a block diagram of microprogram sequence for a control memory and explain its operations. Next, explain about addressing modes and explain different types of addressing modes. And next one is explain about memory mapped I.O. and also I <coughs> input output mapped I.O. So, these are the short long answer questions in unit 2. Then unit 3 important questions are, the unit 3 important questions are distinguish between fixed point representation and floating point representation. Next, write about multiplication algorithm and also explain both algorithm with examples. Explain about addition and subtraction algorithms and construct a flowchart for floating point add or subtract operations. Next one is explain data transfer commands, logic and program control instructions with an example. What is floating point representation or IEEE standard for floating point representation? These all are the important questions in unit 3. Read all these questions carefully. Next, unit 4 questions are unit 4 is uh, outline the concept of handshaking, explain with a knee diagram. Next one is explain modes of data transfer, DMA and IO interface. Explain data transfers as it is parallel and uh, single. Asynchronous data transfer. Explain the cache memory mapping techniques in detail. Explain the memory hierarchy either it is auxiliary memory, main memory, associate memory. Next unit 5 questions are explain CISA and RISA characteristics very important question. Explain pipelining that is either instructions, arithmetic pipelines. Next explain vector processing and parallel processing. Explain arithmetic pipeline with a neat diagram. Explain cache coherence problems and, uh, and also explain different uh, cache coherence ap applications. So, those all are the short uh, long answer questions in the unit wise and overall questions are overall important questions in COA concentrate more on these concepts. One is the pipelining, explain about pipelining, different types of pipelining very very important. Then memory hierarchy, RAM and ROM bus structures. Addressing modes, already I said it is very important question, in instruction format and explain about oh, difference between RIS and CISC or difference between RAM and ROM and difference between SRAM and DRAM. Hardware control unit, difference between hardware control unit and oh, microprogrammed control unit. Booth's algorithm is very, very important. Restoring and non-restoring division, pacing and segmentation, very important question, explain about DMA. Explain all logical shift operations and micro operations, number system also we can once check it and computer architecture and computer organization difference between these. These we have to read all these concepts wise then we are easily get good score in COA. All the best. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe my channel, share it to your friends. Thank you.